momentous moment for me. Fantastic. She's the owner of the most famous salon in Britain. Hello, Audrey. You're done. <laughs> yes, I've got the scissors, Ken, and you're done. Audrey is one of the iconic women of Corrie. She always will be. Give me five. Oh! <laughs> When you've got to say Audrey to anybody and everybody knows who you're talking about. She's glorious to watch and it's certainly glorious to work with her. And I am the Audrey of Audrey's. Sue can handle anything you throw at her. Beg your pardon? You've got a nerve. You have, really. And she can give the great one-liners. That woman, she's got a nose like a trowel. Oh. She's definitely the matriarch of the family. Thanks for this, Gran. But I think in some ways she is the matriarch of Corrie. The highlight for me was having lunch with Prince Charles. Oh, I gave him a bush. As actress Sue Nichols celebrates 40 years on Coronation Street. Oh, I'm sort of in love with Sue. You really are a marvellous woman. Yes, I am, aren't I? <laughs> and have been ever since I first met her. Would you like any products? What product? Uh, spray. It's time to book an appointment. I'm free. And enjoy all of Audrey's highlights. <laughs> I'm getting it off for her. Giving the kiss a life. Why do you? No, I've got a cold. I don't want to pass it on. As Audrey, Sue Nichols has created one of the most popular characters on British television. <laughs> I look nothing like Camilla Parker. <laughs> And what better accolade than to be presented with a Lifetime Achievement Award at this year's Soap Awards. Look at that. Okay. Off screen, Sue is a firm favourite amongst her fellow and former colleagues. Stop it. I absolutely adore her. Her quirkiness, her laughter, her humour. Thank you so much, really. It's ridiculous. I was paid for all those things. Very funny. Very funny. Funny bones. Totally bonkers. Now, I'll finish, but I'll just... <laughs> because... She's everything you want her to be and more. But I was chuffed. Actually, I was in love with her watching Corrie because I remember her first entrance into Coronation Street and what a formidable woman she was. It was on the 16th of April, 1979, when Audrey Potter arrived in Weatherfield. She came to Gail's 21st birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, it's beautiful. I bet it was expensive. The character Audrey makes this amazing entrance and sort of blows the socks off everyone in the scene. I said, oh, hello, love. There's a visitor for you. Hello, love. Mother. Oh, God. One of these days you'll sound glad to see me. I'm Audrey Potter, and you must be. Elsie Tanner. Of course. Well, I mean, if Audrey Since... turned up as your mam. We did, didn't we? <laughs> you would be a little concerned, wouldn't you? I'm looking forward to tonight, though. Have you got a fella for me? I have seen it back, and I hate it. I think I could have done it better. It's a bit late to see if I can audition again. You know so much. I like your mum. He's all right. For millions of viewers, 35-year-old Sue was already a familiar face. Her big break on television had come on another popular ITV soap, set in the Midlands. This episode from 1966 features Sue playing brummy waitress Marilyn Gates. Oh, it's you. I thought Barry said there was a gentleman to see you. Oh, Marilyn. Where's Sandy? Oh, no, is he all boring? All that high woo. It's all very well you saying Titan and Nauties. He was going on like a banshee before. I don't know what come out of him. And that lasted for four years, so I was thrilled. Throughout the 70s, Sue built up a reputation for playing a diverse range of roles. In between Crossroads and Corrie was quite, uh, the busiest time of my life. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, forget it, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm terribly sorry, I should I did a wonderful series with um, Leonard Rossiter called The Rise and Fall of Reginald Perrin, and I loved it. <laughs> Professionals, I had about three lines. I just stood at the door and um, had to say, can I let you in? Do come in. Perhaps you prefer a beer. It is a sticky old day. Uh, I've got several more pickups to make after this one, you see. Ah, well, if you've got several pickups. Another time, perhaps. And it was great. It's the best thing I've ever done. Best performance I've ever given. If your mansion house needs haunting, just call. 
But one of Sue's most loved early characters was a European ghost with a tendency to teleport. I was Nadia Popov, and I come from, I'm not sure where, but another bad accent. Darlings, I am such a stupid... In Rent a Ghost, she was a bit like a foreign Audrey when Audrey first came into the show. Perhaps that's how I got the job. We will be modeling costumes for ghosts from every age. It will be a hysterical pageant. I still get stopped now, you know, 40 years later. Oh, hello, Audrey. But I remember you in Rent a Ghost. I can still do it. It's easy, I've still got it. It's easy. I'm very athletic. Hey, she can definitely dance your mum. At the start of the 80s, Audrey popped in and out of Coronation Street. And with every appearance, she made quite an impression. Early Audrey was really feisty man magnet. A bit of a girl, really. She had all the hair and the, the attitude. Very tarty, um, in a nice way. Excuse me, that's my neighbour. She was anybody's if they bought her a G&T. Also in a nice way. Sort of woman at a party you, you know, you go for. What am I saying? Having caught the eye of the show's producers, they were keen to make her a regular cast member. About 83, I think. They said, would I like to join? And that means, yes, you have to commit then. You can't piddle off and do other stuff. Who was going to say no to that? But the decision to pair Audrey up with one of the show's more respectable characters... Oh! Oh! <laughs> ..didn't sit so well with Sue. When it came about, me and Alpha, I didn't dislike it, I just found it quite strange. Always said we're meeting. Alf was lovely, he was a staid, Ordinary shop owner. Alfie Love, you're a backstreet grocer, not the Prime Minister. Yeah, I've done sight more than most Prime Ministers I know about. And a councillor. Good morning, love. Mrs. Denton, isn't it? Alf Roberts, your local councillor. And possibly might have thought a bit boring. Would you fancy him? I mean, be honest, Alfie, would you? <laughs> no, I don't think I would. As time went on, I realised how great it was. Come here, and he has me frightened to death you're going to change your mind. <laughs> no! <laughs> because it opened up so many avenues for Audrey. I'm the bride! <laughs> On the 23rd of December, 1985, Audrey and Alf tied the knot. Actually, we had to do the wedding twice. I don't know if the cameraman hadn't got any batteries in his camera, but when we came... <laughs> We, for some reason, had to go and do it again. Look as if you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> so that was well and truly married. From councillor's wife to lady mayor, Audrey Roberts revelled in her social status. Like a duck to water, Audrey and the social climbing. <laughs> I think Audrey had a bit of mm, about her. What are you doing, woman? Look, just leave it. Just leave it. I loved that stage, and I can't imagine um, how many outfits I had. Oh, put that. Oh. For 13 years, we enjoyed the highs and lows of the Roberts marriage. Alfie looked after Audrey. He took such great care of her, and she knew that Alfie loved her and she loved Alfie. I hope it came through that she was very fond of him. Mm, hey, blimey, <laughs> don't do that too often, love. I'm supposed to be watching my art. <laughs> she loved him and she was very upset when she lost him. 13 years since we were wed. Doesn't seem like it, does it? No. Uh, well, how do you mean? You mean it seems longer or shorter? <laughs> Short. But with ill health forcing actor Brian Mosley to leave the show. Hi, Alfie, all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to rest my feet for five minutes. On the 1st of January, 1999, the writers gave Alf a heartbreaking goodbye. She thought he'd gone to sleep. I mean, it was quite sweet, really. Me, me, me. Come on, now. <laughs> come on. Come on, okay. she was saying yet again, nag, nag, nag. Alfie, come on, oh, stop showing us up. <laughs> Alfie. Are you sure? Martin. Yeah? I can't wake him up. And, of course, he died. You know, so, so at the end, she was going on. But that was really sad. He's dead, Audrey. 
And I didn't need any tear gel from the makeup because, you know, it was, it's a wonderful character had gone. Oh, dear. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself now. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Little did we know that uh, the sadness about Brian would happen soon after. Having retired to rest up and enjoy more time with his family, sadly, only six weeks later, Brian passed away. I think that's a sad thing, really, isn't it? Because his, his me time never happened. Oh. But he leaves a huge legacy, and that's lovely to have. With 40 years as her alter ego, Audrey... Oh, my Lord! <laughs> Sue Nichols has appeared in a third of all the 9,800 episodes of Coronation Street. Actually, my Alfie used to love my ankles. And my clavicle. <laughs> and over that time, she's brought a lot of herself to the role. Do you know, it must be my age. She does have her, her little catchphrases and things that she does, but that, that are very likable characteristics. She does tend to make things up. She does. We're not allowed to make things up, you know. We have to say what's in the script. We laugh in rehearsal yes. at what she's putting in. I love but it then when she, she gets does. a bit yeah, embarrassed. No. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! <clears throat> we'll laugh and, and then she's like, "Oh no, I won't say." It. And we're like, "Oh no, but oh, it's no, really you got good. It, you got it's it. And she goes, "Shall I?" Oh, like, like she needs a bit of encouragement yeah. to be brilliant. Those stairs. Oh, Sometimes in a scene we'll say, oh, can you throw an honestly in there, Sue? So, honestly. Honestly. Really? Mm -hmm. I think my personal favourite is, oh, David. Oh, David. Oh, David. Mm. Oh, David. And, uh, Gail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. That. Oh, Gail. Oh. Oh, Gail. Oh, Gail. Oh, Gail. She does a sort of, hmm? <laughs> Yes, we get a lot of those, don't we? Hmm? 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 Yeah? Yeah? Eh? Hmm? Eh? <laughs> you just can't beat it. Can't beat a good RG noise. Yeah. We'll never know, will we? She knows she's doing it, and she knows it makes us laugh, and she knows it's very good characterization. It's a good job I saw this, isn't it? Eh? Hmm? Oh! I do make noises. Because that's what you do in life, isn't it? Oh, I just had to come round. Mm? I just hope I'm not going to regret this. You won't. <laughs> she began as a home hairdresser. But by 1997, Audrey had become the proud owner of the street salon. Hello, Audrey. How's that? It's awful. Pardon? One of Audrey's original hairstylists was Maxine. Hi, Maxine. Um... Why if you give me a quick trim? Oh, I'm busy at the moment. Oh. I'm free. Candice. And she took on trainee Candice back in 2003. You are dreadfully shallow. <laughs> Thanks. It's been well over a decade since they left the show, but today, actors Nikki Sanderson and Tracy Shaw are back to surprise Sue. Do you think she's going to be really sharp? I think so. <laughs> As you can see, there's a list of the things we do. Uh, cut and blow, wash and perm, highlights, low lights. OK, let's do this. I don't think yeah. I ever saw you cut hair. Did you cut hair? Well, I did some late night shifts. Didn't, you just, didn't you just like fold the towels? I folded the towel. How to pretend to cut hair. Yes. <laughs> it's true. It's true. There you go. You're done. Am I? Yes. I've got the scissors, Ken, and you're done. All right? You yeah. could come back, you know. I could come From back. From the dead. So we'll, I will organise that because I've been here 40 years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's what we'll do. I hope everything's to our satisfaction. Satisfaction? Do you call this satisfaction? <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Oh, I can't go on. I can't go on. Shall we go in yeah, and yeah. have the usual cup of tea? Yes. Yes. And a real 
bitch about everybody. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> right, right, let's come get back on. To come on. The salon has given us moments of great comedy. But throughout her time on the street, Audrey has never been far away from a drama. The better you are at comedy, I always think the better you are at emotional scenes. Come on, Albert. Come on. In 2001, Audrey lost her best friend, Alma. I'm sorry. She's gone. <laughs> she is so good in the emotional scenes. You really feel for her. Only a year on from Alma's death, along came another traumatic storyline, when evil Richard Hillman was hell-bent on killing off Audrey for her money. I did have quite a lot to do because he suddenly honed in on me, trying to get me out of the way. As the story developed, she was the only one who knew the truth about Richard Hillman. He's worried about you. Oh. Audrey, open the door! Go away! Let me in, come on, this isn't fair on Archie. And then, of course, he knocks on the door, Richard Hillman, and I have a hysterical thing in the passageway. Oh. No! Oh, I'm sorry about this. Now, Audrey, Get away come from on. me, just get out! Sue can do dramatic scenes like the best of them. You're scaring her. Yeah. I'm not going to hurt you. Back off, back off. She gave it absolutely everything. You're terrifying the poor woman. Yeah. And we thought, wow, what, what, what an actress. You get right into her soul, her mind. That's the sort of actress she is, and that's why I think it works so well. Audrey and her family survived the clutches of Richard Hillman. And in 2009, the show introduced a new nemesis for her. Oh, hi, Audrey. Oh, Ree. <laughs> Rival salon owner, Claudia Colby. No, don't! So Audrey and Claudia have this love-hate relationship. Is it hair or is it a lampshade? I never can tell. Audrey. <laughs> well, she ruffles um, Audrey's feathers, and, you know, not many people can do that. 17. Congratulations. Yes. Any tips? I remember when I first did my little stint in Corinth. Anyway, how's Perm so spec, Claudia? Ooh, business is booming. People so I met Sue before going on, and I said, darling, um, do you think I ought to try a northern accent? She says, well, go on, say it to me in northern. Look at me, teaching my grandmother to suck eggs. The cleanliness in these toilets is second to none. She said, no, forget it. Hmm. <laughs> I do love a melon ball. The highlight of their feud came in 2018 when Claudia put Audrey up for a lifetime award she didn't want. Tonight we are here to recognise a truly legendary figure of Northwest hairstyling. For technical reasons, big ensemble scenes require cast who aren't speaking to keep completely quiet, which proved challenging during Audrey's acceptance speech. We had to do it so that Sue would do it and we would have to try and not laugh, which was ridiculously hard. They were all just sitting there doing that. And I thought, oh dear, I think it should be... Um, we should have a bit of reaction. I mean, she doesn't look bad, does she? For someone that can remember where she was when the Titanic went down. <laughs> I mean, I know they're pathetic gags she's saying, but it's better to have them going, ooh, anything. I think they should go to the person who nominated me. So, Claudia, these are for you. It took two days, I think, to film that scene. Well, you won't die. With all the broken glass flying around and me falling off my chair, you can't really sort of rehearse that. As a matter of fact, I'd like to admit it was me that threw it. It wasn't. But I'd take credit for it. But for her finale, Sue called upon Jack for advice. Sue was worried about the whole mic drop. And she went, but will they know what I'm doing? I went, yes, yes, yes people will know. <laughs> Audrey out, and then you drop. She goes, right, OK, I trust you. I went, trust me, it's fine. Audrey out. <laughs> As usual, absolutely nailed it. She was amazing. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I hope she's all right. Oh, she will be. She comes from tough stock. Over her 40 years in Coronation Street, we've watched as Audrey, the flighty mother... Can't have been easy, you know, bringing Gail up all by yourself. No, it wasn't easy. Still, I didn't let her get me down. ..has evolved into an iconic great-grandma. Mm. To, to Brittany. Brittany. To Brittany. Right then. Right then. I 
think Audrey's role now, I'm enjoying it more than ever. Now I feel as if life is just beginning. I've grown up and I'm 70 plus. Happy birthday, man. And she gets on with her grandkids and she's calmer. My two favorite grandsons. <laughs> but behind all the on-screen antics, just how close is the real bond between Sue and the cast of the Platts? I love my screen family, you see. I don't particularly have a, a family, kids. So to me, my screen family are wonderful. She is someone you really can talk to. And I, I know even recently that um, I've turned a lot of times to Sue to talk to about various things. Helen's like my daughter. On Mother's Day, she always gives me a Mother's Day card. And to me, that is just joyous. I know I've been such a rotten mother, but I have loved you. You cannot fail but to get close to people you've worked with so closely for such a long time. I wouldn't be in this show if it wasn't for Helen. I came to play her mother, and I'm still there, and I'm delighted. I dream to death. So, huge congratulations on 40 years with Coronation Street. Oh, for God's sake, you didn't want all this fuss then. I love you very much, as you know. Good night, Lord. Uh, I can. You make me smile, you make me laugh. Congratulations, Sue. 40 years, that's wow. incredible. Yes, act. Gran! We love you very much and we think you're wonderful. Would you just all go and don't come back? Go on! Life is a soap opera. I just thought of that. <laughs> That's good. That'll be my book. I am woman. I am willing. I am Weatherfield.